Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add subtitles to your video using Wondershare Uniconverter. Here's a simple handy guide to get you adding subtitles for your MP4, AVI, MKV, any video format as well as your DVD or digital movies, TV series, music videos, and much more. You can add all sorts of different subtitle formats from SRT to SUB files and these can either be inputted directly hard-coded into the video itself or as an associated file next to it. You can also actually extract subtitles from your video as well, so we're going to be going over this today. First it should be mentioned the difference between hard-coded subtitles and soft subtitles. Hard-coded ones are ones that are inside of the video itself and cannot be turned on or off or changed. Soft subtitles are the opposite, where it's usually in a separate file or embedded inside of the video where you can change the language, turn them on or off, and adjust other font properties. Part 1 in this video, we're going to go over how to add subtitles to your video. To get started, you'll need to launch the program and then head to the video editor window. Step 1 is to get the editing window open, and to do this, we're just going to make sure again we're in the video editor and hit subtitle. This is going to allow us to load our video, and I'm just going to load this clip here. Then it's going to start playing our video, and you can see we have all of our subtitle options. So step 2 is to import our subtitles, which we can do by hitting this button here and then adding our subtitles from our computer. So I've gone ahead and loaded my subtitles. Now step three is to customize your subtitle settings. To do this, it's really simple. We can go through and first find a spot where we view our subtitles. You can see they're extremely small, so let's adjust our options. First, I'll change the font just to see how it looks. And I'm gonna increase the font size a lot to make sure our text is visible. And now you can see as we play, we can see our subtitles playing along with our video. We can continue to change things like the color of our subtitles to something more visible. You can change things like if it's bolded, italicized, or underlined. And you can also add outlines and with different widths and colors to your subtitles to make it easier to read for older people. And then you can also finally adjust where the subtitles appear, whether it's on the top, middle, or bottom. And you can also use this slider to make more fine adjustments. If at any time you want to start over as well, you can hit reset. But these are looking good as I preview through them, and they're looking very visible and readable compared to the actual footage itself. So now step four is to convert our video and save it with these hard-coded subtitles. To do this, we're going to hit OK to save our changes, and now we can hit the settings button here to adjust an output format like MP4 or MOV. You can also do this down here to change the output format of all your clips if you're doing multiple and choose from one of the thousands of video and audio codecs. And then to save these finally and hard code them in, hit convert all or start all to begin the process saving all of them. And then once it's done, you can head over to the finished tab and view our video. And as you can see, we now have our hard coded subtitles built in. Part two is now we're gonna choose multiple subtitles and audio tracks when we're playing back something that already has subtitles. You can keep all of the subtitles and audio tracks in the original video so that you can turn them on and off for any track that you want in any language. So follow these steps and you'll be using this in no time. Step one in this process is again to choose subtitles of our footage. So back in video editor, I'll choose subtitle and load uh, my footage with subtitles built into it. So if your video has the option of multiple subtitles, you'll have this drop down here. But in my case, I just have English. As you can see, we have the English Advanced Codec. You'll be able to see all the languages and subtitle options and simply change them. If you wanted to say change it to English, we can now use our subtitles in English. And you have the option to either remove these subtitles and their association or keep all of the tracks. And you can also choose to embed further ones if you want. And then step two is, like I said, to select an audio track for movie playback, the final one that's going to be displayed. And then to preview our changes, if you want, you can click on your video and view them to see how the new subtitles are going to appear. And then finally, step four is to make sure we save and embed these changes. And to do this, we're going to select an output format, something like MP4 or MOV, and then hit convert or start all to begin the process of saving these new subtitle uh, settings inside of our embedded video. And then you can go into the finish tab to view your finished file when done. And now you can enjoy videos on your TV with subtitles or audio tracks you want. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how to add subtitles to your video using Wondershare Uniconverter.